Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. I love reviewing in the eyeshadow palettes. I do a lot of those. So if you guys are into that kind of content, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I love to have you guys here. And for this video, I've been wanting to play with this palette since I got it. So this is by Bella Beauty Bar. It's the Sun and the Sea palette. And I've been dying to touch the, the special shimmers. It has a mix of multi-chromes and duochromes. And I've been dying like just to touch it. But this is video. It's going to be a first impressions. I used to do a lot of multiple eye look videos. But for this month of August, I just wanted to give myself a little break. As in, I wanted to play with the palettes on my own time. Do some YouTube, more YouTube shorts, more Instagram reels. Because I haven't been doing them a lot. Because I think because I'm spending too much time working on the videos and all that because I can record whenever I want and yeah so I'm just gonna do one eye look video so I'm so sorry I'm so tempted to do more looks with this one of course I'm gonna do more looks right after this one but it's just so this video won't be so long as well I do have an affiliate code with Bella Beauty Bar so I purchased this palette I purchased all my Bella Beauty Bar palettes and anything I get from them I purchased myself but I do have an affiliate code in Sashi so if you guys decide to use it it's like 10% off, but you use it and it just gets back to me. So if you guys decide to use it, then thank you guys so much because it really, really helps me out. I have a little fan right here. I have it on low, so I hope you guys can't really hear it that well. I really hope so. I'm sorry. I'm just so tired of sweating in my videos. That's why my makeup sweating right here. I'm just tired of it. So at least this keeps me a little bit cool. Right now it's morning, but it's still hot, you guys. So this palette retails for $62. It has five multi-chromes and four dual chromes and nine mattes in their upgraded matte formula. And this is like a revamp almost or an improved version of their older palette. So I don't have the old version to compare, but I'm just gonna play with this one. I'm just gonna do one eye look like I mentioned, but uh, I'm so dying to do multiple eye looks, but just for the sake of the video and for the sake of me enjoying the palettes on my own time too and also sharing them with you guys in shorter versions. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing some first impressions. I have not swatched palettes. I wanted to swatch the special shimmers. So let me swatch Sun Kiss. <gasps> oh, that's, oh man. I love Bella Beauty Bar. Like they are my favorite indie brand. I love them so much. Like, oh my gosh, these are so buttery. <gasps> And I know these two look a little bit different. I forgot to mention, I was going to mention it, but the browns, you guys could already tell that they are very, very similar in tones. So I'm kind of sad about that. But I bought this palette for mainly the shimmers, not for the mattes. But I mean, I do love the blues and browns, but it's just too much browns, like similar browns. If they were a little bit different, it would have been fine, I think. Or if they added like another color too. But also these blues, they look kind of similar too. So that's the only, I think, my biggest critique on this palette. Without even testing it out, it's just by just looking at it. But anyways, let's um, continue swatching. This is the water nip. Oh my gosh, you guys. I know they look similar. This one's a more, um, I don't know. I, I guess that one's, yeah, that one's more greenish. And this is supposed to be more pinkish. They're like iridescent. I think there might be dual chromes or multi chromes. I'm not sure, but... Ooh, isn't that pretty? So let me, I think this one might be my most favorite one, the Sam Castle. I love pinkish shades like this. This one's not as, uh, this one's a little bit thick. This one kind of reminds me of one from uh, the Star Cross Lovers. Similar, something like that. Not like exact, but some formula of a certain shade in that one. Mez, Memer Amazing, Memer Amazing. <laughs> uh, this one, obviously you could tell this one's gonna be a lot smoother. Yeah, so these are the swatches, my finger swatches so far. And I'm gonna do some hand swatches real quick. So let's do this one. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, well, I'm doing thick swatches. And I'm just gonna do this one. And these are like very thin, like these two are very thin. The other two are more thicker. Very good. Oh, hopefully I can make room for this one. Wow, love the formula. So right here are the swatches. Wow, that's so pretty. I love them, <laughs> I love it. So let's see the shift. So they don't really specify which ones are the dual chromes or multi-chrome. So I'm not even gonna try to guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna guess you guys, but look at, oh, look at those shifts, very beautiful. Oh my gosh. Nah, they're pretty. So yeah, I definitely got this palette mainly for the shimmers. I can't wait to swatch the other shades. 
very very pretty i love it i love it love it so now let me swatch the rest so a good thing about this palette that you get like half shimmers and half mattes but the only thing the mattes are more repetitive but these shimmers man you get a good amount of special shimmers in this one you get nine like a total of nine so the five multi-chromes and four duochromes so that makes me so happy so i know it retails for 62 but i'll probably update you guys later on i'm going to be doing a palette ranking video for the last three months i'm going to be recording that one soon but i will definitely update you guys in this palette in a future video probably in the palette ranking or if i do an additional look video then i'll probably update you guys there too siren this one looks purplish bluish Ooh, that one looks pretty sparkly the formula feels great okay so daydream Oh, this one's like golden, like gold and brown. Oh, I love this shade. I'm, it's going to be gorgeous. A tide pool. Wow. Tide pools looks another like purple bluish shade. So hopefully they look different than the siren shade. Yeah, this one looks more bluish. And let me get sunset. <laughs> and I only have one more. So might as well swatch this one on my thumb. So heat wave. So all the shimmers, man. Ooh. They feel so, so good. So these are the finger swatches. Look at that. Pretty. So pretty. Watch this, you guys. So let me just do this real quick. <gasps> that one's... That's a pretty shade. The Heat Wave. I love the shade. Oh, I love fiery shades. That one's so gorgeous. It looks like almost like a black base. Might be black base. No, it's not black base. Um, well, it could be. But let's swatch this one. Ooh, hopefully it's different than the other one we will compare. That one's supposed to be the more purplish. This is like purple and green. Okay, now for the next shade. This shade was like a gold brown. I'm sure this one's a dual chrome. Yeah, the shifter ones are going to be the multi-chromes. Yeah, that's definitely a dual chrome. Now the other shade. I have to do thinner swatches. <laughs> this one. So the texture so to some of them. If you guys are more familiar with Bella Beauty Bar Formula. They have like different formulas sometimes. Either it's, it could be like super smooth and wet. Like they all feel so buttery. But they also have some shade that has like this uh, consistency. Like you have to, probably because I get too much. But it gets a little bit of those leftovers, you know. Now for the next last shade. Yeah, that's how their formula is. Either the very smooth or just like that. So... <laughs> Okay, so I barely was able to fit these shades, but they're so pretty. These are a lot of warm shades. Oh, I love that that first shade I just swatched. So pretty. Very, very beautiful. So let's check out the mirror. Look at that shade. That shade's freaking insane. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna love this palette. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? Like, I'm so in love, you guys. I'm so in love. Okay, so um, I actually found love more with the shimmers. More than I thought I was going to love them, honestly. So I'm really attracted to this side. This is the side I'm mostly attracted to because of the pink shade and these lighter shades. Oh, so beautiful. But I will sure play with that one like another time probably. So let's get some... Let's get a brown. I want to use a brown. So let me get this shade uh, Sunbade. It looks like the one of the lightest browns. <laughs> and guys, and um, usually I don't, um, you know, I don't do a lot of browns at all. So it's nice sometimes. I love blue and browns together. Oh my gosh. So. Yeah, let me just. I had a crease there, that's why. It's for my eye primer, but let me just buff this in. But it's buffing out pretty nicely. So, yeah, I put too much right there. But yeah, I really enjoy their Matte Lux Formula. Like, I've done a review on the... I just barely uploaded, like, not that long ago. The, the All Matte Palette. And that palette's really good. It's great for beginners. Like, I had no problems with blending with that one, like, at all. But yeah, I did, like, I think six eye looks with that one. With the... Featuring some Davina singles from a mystical collection so if you guys want to check that out i'll be really happy if you guys do check it out <laughs> 
And I just want to lighten up the edges a little bit. So I'm going to get the shade Tan Lines right here. Ooh, it's like a pink nude. I like the shade. Or like a bone shell, pink bone shell shade. So you could use that to lighten up the edges like that. Ooh, yeah, kind of change up the tone of that brown a little bit. Yeah, it softened it up. Like a lot, so that's good. So I'm just taking this light. Could get a little bit of this, the carabine shade. Yeah, get a little bit of that. Just a hint, carabine. So I noticed on the stock photos, it looks a little bit more aqua. I wish it was more aqua, honestly, but this shade is fine too. I think it's a cute shade. So I'm just gonna pack this and I'm gonna just slowly buff it like this. So that shade's really good. Oh my gosh, that's a good shade. So yeah, just soften it up like that. Oh, so cute. And I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. So let me just use the Bella Beauty Bar Shimmer Stay. I'm gonna just get it with my finger. I don't like putting it with the applicator, so I just get it from my finger. And I'm just gonna prime this. I really want to use the shade Sand Castle, so let me get this shade right here. Uh, this one, I think it's gonna be my favorite shade. I just love the tone to this shade. So I'm gonna get it from my brush, and I'm just gonna slowly built it up oh yeah that's a pretty shade such a girly sh but wearable shade this will pair well with the or well, just a brown and the nude shade that'd be really cute so this formula the shade that when i was watching it the shade said it gives a little bit left or it does have um fallout i like packing my shimmers <laughs> So I think uh, next color probably will be better. Like the this one does have packiness, the shimmer stay. It just helps makes those shimmer look um, stand out a little bit more. But yeah, this one's this formula with okay the formula to like the looser ones like that gets a little left or if you get too much you're gonna have some fallout. So be careful with that. So to uh, just to do your eye look first. Let me get the shade right here, Siren. So yeah. I'm gonna get the shade Siren. This one looks really pretty. So I think uh, the, the shades I'm using are dual chromes, but I am gonna use a multi-chrome in my inner corner, but yeah, it'll pair well with that baby blue. So that's why I thought it looked cute. Just to add this. Let me get my finger. Maybe I'll add a little extra punch if I use my finger. Yeah, a little bit. I'm just going to softly blend this a little bit. So I think I'm just going to keep it brown. So I'm going to get the shade Sunbait again. And I'm just going to hopefully this deepens it up. The shade Basque. Instead of using like blue and browns. So I want to keep it kind of brown on the bottom. Ooh. Guys, I got too much. So this shade's really pigmented. If you got too much. I'm just going to do it this corner right here. Oh yeah, it did deepen it up. Okay. Let me soften the edges with the tan line shades real quick. And I just go like this. Like that. Just like that. And soften this side too. And this side. For the inner corner, I want to get the shade that's more pinky. I want to get the water nip shade. Oh, uh, gosh. So I'm going to get a little bit of my brush. I prefer using my pinky. But... Let's see how this goes in the inner corner. Oh no, I had fallout right there. Okay. I right know I didn't use any of the special shades besides the inner corner. Let me get my pinky. Just add a little extra pop. And I guess I'll put a little bit right here too. I want to get that that excess and just kind of bring it up. I just want my line, do that line thing. I'll just bring it up right here. Here's the look before I add the lashes. And I really love it. 
that pop of blue it's so cute and i love it with the mix of pink too love this color combo the soft colors oh with the little bit pops of color so this is like really wearable look i think it's a wearable look but let me just put on some lashes and then i'll be right back to give you guys my first thoughts about this palette so here's the finished look and oh my gosh i love this soft look this is so so like my kind of wearable kind of look <gasps> so pretty guys love the pinks with the blues that pink shade is so pretty i did have to add a little bit more shades on top so i always do that i always do some extra blending or extra if i had to add more shades and or not more shades but if i had to add more because sometimes i do it too low or sometimes i do it too high then i'll do it but i've noticed i the shade sunbaked that one i feel like i have trouble on so i thought it was just my eyeshadow primer but after i added like just a little bit it's pigmented but it's kind of hard to buff out so maybe you guys seen i mean it wasn't so hard to buff out but i feel like that shade was like the only shade i had trouble so far that shade i can't say for sure because i only use it on the bottom right here but i need to test out these browns because usually i don't use a lot of browns but i really love this look though uh but everything else everything else is really good the shimmers i love them like the shade sun castle that one like the shades i already told you guys i bought this palette for the shimmers so so far i'm loving the shimmers i do love browns and blues but they could have done a little bit better on this part maybe we could have kept like the two browns or like, one dark brown and then one of these browns and then the two shades it could have been hmm, maybe a dark purple or like because there's a purple right there or, or it could have been this one could have been like a dark blue purple violet and that one could have been alone like left alone the other shades i don't know it could have been like a like a teal color too like how we see in the picture like that aqua color because this color on the stock photos it looks very aqua like it looks like a pretty color but this one's like a baby blue color i am loving the formula with the multi-chrome the dual chrome i think most of the shades i use on my eyes it's mostly dual chrome so i have not even used like the most beautiful shades i think this one might be a multi-chrome the iridescent one it's so pretty so i need to see how that one looks on the lid but you guys gotta let me know how you guys feel feel about this palette the sun and the sea palette i will definitely do more looks with the youtube shorts so you guys will see i might future it again this month because i want to do this series i've not started my first one yet but i might future it again this month so anyways guys that's gonna be it so i really hope you guys enjoy this video i know it's just one eye look i usually i love doing multiple eye looks guys but i just want to have play with it on my own time but i'll also show you guys too like the looks or the tutorial in some way thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys all so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.